think about narratives, sometimes we think about them in terms of formal properties. What does a narrative do? It tells a story. What does a story do? It organizes events in time. It might flash back, it might flash forward, but a narrative structures time and structures events. So I bring that here uh, today and I want to touch on a couple of things that just happened in the past hour um, in my notes and then I want to turn to this pamphlet that I have that I have put together for you. Um, I'll say first uh, that there was something that John said as he was relating a conversation that he'd had with someone about the kind of, he called it a strange dynamism. He was talking to someone who had been starting to write about health, their own health. That person described it as how writing created a distance between him and his body, but it simultaneously was creating a kind of intimacy with, within himself. And John referred to that as a strange dynamism, a sense of distance, a little bit of objectivity maybe that you can use as you write about what's happening to you. But through that, there's something um, of a communion maybe that happens that is increasingly illuminating. And then Misty said something that resonated very closely with, with that. And I heard it as another kind of strange dynamism. She said, you know, writing is something where when you feel out of control, your life has gone along and maybe then there's a big change, maybe there's been a new diagnosis. Writing can be something that might give you back a little sense of control. And I would add to that, that if the writing is personal and creative, sometimes maybe a strange dynamism can happen because while writing gives you a sense of control, maybe in a sense of narrative or description, or even maybe doing some research and recounting that, when you write expressively, personally, when you're tapping into that kind of uh, creativity, sometimes you open a valve. Another of the phrases we heard this morning, Misty's introduction said, writing was like opening a valve or raising a dam. And I would say, well, there's a second instance of strange dynamism. <laughs> writing may give a sense of control to us, but so much value comes from when that valve opens, that dam raises, that comes from the creative parts that we don't maybe always have control over. And that is the generative thing that can happen through expressive writing. We might think of that as a possibility in writing too, is there a before and an after? If you think about writing the story of one's own health and wellness, what does the before look like? What kind of writing might that need versus the after?